and super here uh, on my way home when I bought it uh, the back side of the trailer right there hit every pebble in the road and I couldn't get in the driveway I don't know if you can see the steep driveway behind me but it's, I have to hop the curb to get the boat into the driveway so uh, what I did was I took and, uh, the axle off and I cut it off right here took uh, the pedestal I mean the, the spindle down a little bit and uh, it raised the boat up off the ground to where I could get in the driveway. I still got to hop the curve. But since then, I've noticed in my rear view mirror, uh, on the driver's side rear view mirror, that the wheel in the back of the trailer on the driver's side is like this. And it's been getting worse. As a matter of fact, the tire started rubbing on the inside of the fender wheel right there. And uh, so now that I have a little bit of time, we're waiting on the water pump for the boat. That's a damn nightmare. Uh, I'm going to take and... Uh, slice the, cut the top of the spindle a little bit and knock it down a little bit and then I'm going to take a um, a uh, laser level and uh, put it on the axle this way and then I'll put it on the axle this way and make sure the bow straight uh, right now I have to take the spindle off I've already taken the nut off and the castle nut and the carter pin uh, I'm going to take this off so I don't burn up uh, the rubber seals and uh, rubber seal is right there. I'll clean all this up before I put it back together. Check the bearings out, make sure they're good. So I'll clean this up and I'll take the torch and I'll make a cut right here. I'll sweat that weld right off and uh, pop it with a hammer and try, try to straighten it up using a laser level. Water brush down here. Okay, are we ready? Oxygen always on, heat on just a little bit, and then oxygen on just a little bit less. That's not the uh, result I wanted. Alright, start sweating the welds. It's going to take a while for it to heat up. There's a solid steel here. So what I do when uh, I need to sweat a weld is that I take and I put my finger in between here so that way I don't actually press too hard so I can just blow a little bit. Because I don't want to blow straight through it. When I heat it up, I want to sweat the weld off. I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. As soon as this heats up. Take a while to get heat up. Do what? What? Yeah, oh yeah, bent. Too much. Need that wood block. <laughs> I'll see. Try to bend it back a little bit. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so after this cools, what I'll do is I will. Uh, Take and put a laser level on it. I'll put a laser level on it this way, and then I'll get it straight. Then I'll uh, put a laser level on it this way, get it straight, check it the other way again, and then I'll uh, tack it up and I'll check it again. And after that, I'll take a 7018 and I'll put a solid weld all the way around it, uphill, 7018. In order to use a laser level to uh, make sure the axles are straight, or the spindles on the axles are straight, what I have to do is uh, 
I have to shim it up to get it to where the laser level is close to the center line of the, uh, the, the spindles. And then to make sure everything's level, to make sure that this is sitting level, I have to measure here what I have to the laser line is 11 sixteenths. There, check over here. I also have 11 sixteenths, just under three quarters of an inch. So I know that the axle is level. Now I'm going to check and make sure that uh, the laser line is the same on both spindles. And if it's not, I'm going to have to uh, move this one either up or down. And then when I get done with that, I'll flip it on its side. I'll do the same thing, make sure that it's straight that way. And now I'll flip it back again uh, to uh, make sure that it didn't move on me. Also, to uh, get the, um, the laser line closer to the center of the spindle, I'm going to have to remove some of these shims that I have here. Get it closer to the center. That's right on center right there. So is that one. 16. And exactly one in the 16. Okay. So the axle's is still sitting level. I'm sure there are better, more scientific ways to do this, but uh, I don't know what they are. So I'm doing it like this. Okay, continuing on with our uh, trailer axle repair. I uh, ended up having to cut the uh, spindle all the way off and uh, straighten it out. And I uh, did a root pass with uh, my little 110 welding machine and uh, checked it for straightness with the laser this way and this way and then uh, after that I welded it with the 7018 uphill all the way around and it's a good weld it's a strong weld and I'm fixing to be uh, installing it on the boat trailer and uh, in case uh, some of y'all were wondering how you get an axle straight how do you get it to run true uh, these little tabs that are welded right here on the top of the axle uh, are used for locating and maintaining the spot where you put the axle um, a tab here and there's a tab here on the other side and uh, we're fixing to put it all together and see how it pulls queso I love queso chips and queso that is but I want to bring your attention to that bolt right there in the ground that concrete anchor right there you see that makes that water hose okay then I also want to bring your attention to these two anchors in the ground over here I uh, haven't used them in a while because I guess I got a little overconfident and um, what happened just now after I got the, uh, the axle back on the trailer and uh, the wheels back on and I was letting it down off the jacks and this is what happened. It started to take off and roll down the driveway. I don't know if you can see the driveway back there but it's very very steep. And so. Uh, I was on this side, I just let off the jack, and the only thing that kept it from rolling down the hill was my... Started to roll down the driveway, and uh, so I was able to stop it, and that was about the time that my wife drove up, and I hollered for her, and she's sitting in her car, do -do 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 -do, couldn't hear me. <laughs> as soon as she opened the door, she heard me hollering to come help, and so she chalked that tire on that side, and uh, that kept it from rolling any further, chalked the tire on this side. But the purpose of these anchors were uh, when I first started having a boat here at this house, I would uh, anchor, I would uh, bolt the chain onto onto these and then tie it around the boat. And that was to keep the boat from rolling down the hill. And then, so I've been neglectful over the last year or so and haven't been using them hardly at all. But I'll be using them from now on. Bolt the chain, chain tied to the boat. I sprayed a paint stripper on there, then uh, let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then uh, wiped it off, and then polished it out, and like this.